A 99 Odell Beckham, Randy Moss. I mean, he is stacked on that offensive side of the ball, and we know that could be trouble for Six Sense because when you look at Six Sense's defense, he really tanked that side of the ball. Like a jigsaw puzzle, we're going to have a little more of an idea what the Madden Bowl single elimination bracket looks like in 20 minutes of game time. Six cents. VY Electrify, do or die. The pressure amped up here in Group A. It's a big month for VY. He had a birthday this month as well. He just turned 25 years old this month as well. I remember when I was 25, deep sigh. Good old days. <laughs> As these guys uh, set up their audibles, set their lineups. I'm sure there are a lot of people at home. They've seen this at the beginning of every game. They see that delay of game, and it always gets declined. That's just a gentlemanly agreement from these players. Yeah, what, what they can't do is your formation subs and your audibles, they don't carry with you from game to game. And they're such an important part of these guys' strategy. So they make that gentleman's agreement to say, hey, you go set up your form subs and your audibles, I'll decline the delay of game, and then you do the same thing for me when I'm on offense. Um, so that's exactly what's going on right there. Look at those Tennessee Titan baby blue jerseys. A little powder blues. Chris Johnson fights through, winding, weaving, stumbling, bumbling, picking up 14. I'm telling you, if I'm VY, I'm giving six cents a heavy dose that Chris Johnson, because at 96 overall, um, six cents just doesn't have any of the goons on defense that he's going to need to be able to contain that beast. Detroit, he's going to have to Detroit. do a lot of manually shooting gaps. Now, Barney, Barney. He's going to want to stop this run game. Once again, two right, tight ends, two wide six. receivers Rocky for VY. Over, over, Getting over, the ball over. first here in this third of our Group A games. How about Chris Johnson? Boy, VY, what a patient runner using that one cut mechanic so effectively. Well, this six cents, that's a little frustrating because that was decent run D, but Chris Johnson's still able to just push forward and, you know, fall down for a six yard gain even when you're playing decent run defense. So if you're VY again, I'm just going to continue to feed this piece, and then even if he gets tired, you can just sub out Tevin Coleman from that tight end position that he's got right here, and put him right back there in the backfield right here. Second down of four for VY. Once again, Moss in motion. It's been Chris Johnson early. He fights through the tackle. He'll pick up a couple, cut it to a third and short. It's going to be an interesting play call here for VY. You think it's an obvious run and down situation. And I, you know, I'll tell you what, this is probably two down t territory, and I'd run the ball again knowing that I'd go for it on fourth down. This has to 100% be a run. Looks like he's going to go stretch right up, the, right up here. Hand off Johnson. What a cut inside. Are you talking about that one cut mechanic introduced this year? Uh, you're seeing VY use it incredibly effectively. Yeah, it does a good job with it. With the one cut, the key to it, is when you get the ball with your halfback, the first thing everyone wants to do is hit right trigger, What's the turp, which is the turbo button. It's the worst thing you can do. The way you want to do it is you want to start running with your halfback, and when it's time to make one of those sharp cuts, that's when you hit the right trigger button, and it's going to let your halfback explode out of that cut, get a nice speed burst. New mechanic in that uh -oh, He's going that's up Coleman. top. He's got a step. Drop it in the bucket, but a defensive play to bat that one away, a touchdown saving swat. Yeah, that's a 97 speed, Tevin Coleman, halfback that he has a tight end. He's gonna be able to get behind the defense like that, but his hands aren't gonna be good. He's playing out of position. He doesn't have the greatest catch ratings. And that's why you saw him drop that ball, even though he had a step on the defenders. Second and 10, Lamar. Everything's That's off underneath. How about the coverage in the secondary by Six Sense defense? He said no cap spent on it, but they're playing well behind him. They're doing all right. I mean, he got burnt on that touchdown by Coleman, but luckily, yeah, they were there to knock the ball out. I do like the change of pace from BY. He opened up with very run-heavy uh, style of offense, picked up some first downs. Now he's passing the ball a little bit, trying to keep Six Sense honest. Good mix-up of his play calls here. So again, though, if you're VY, you have to run this rock, knowing you'll go for it on Detroit, fourth down. Detroit. He went with the stretch last time. Yep, you see his play art. He's probably going to go with it again. Moss comes in motion. 
Sixth Sense knows what's coming. Boom! He makes the play in the backfield. What a hit on Chris Johnson. Fool me once, you got that. Fool me again, heck no. Big stop right there, and now it's fourth and three. BY is going to go for this, and this isn't an obvious running situation. He's likely going to pass Detroit, the rock right here. Detroit, this is a big play for six cents. Can that tank defense get a stop early for him, Nick? Key fourth down early in this game. Tournament life on the line. Big plays early. Pressure up the middle, picked up. It's Pressure up the edge, picked up. And that's Shannon Sharp, a little spin back inside. And VY keeps the drive alive. VY electrified on the fourth down, right, open and drive. In a season ending game. Comes through big. Now can he finish the job? Two tight ends, two wide receivers once again. And how about Chris Johnson tries to get outside. Pressure brought off the edge, though. Stop that in its tracks. And I'll tell you what, six cents. He ran commit on that play right there. What, what that means is he hit the left trigger and down on the right stick. Pretty much held his whole defense. Don't even play the pass. Just run back there and try to stop the run. And that's and that's a risky move because had VY call the pass right there, it would have been a touchdown. Jackson, oh, he's got B over the top. Looks underneath, gets hit as he throws. You may see VY mix in some play action if you start seeing six cents run committing. What they'll do is they don't like to go through with the actual play action. They'll call a play action play, Nick, but then you can cancel the play action by simply hitting the right trigger once you snap the ball. So a lot of those guys will call the play action, kind of go about halfway through the fake, hit the oh, right now, trigger. And then look for the dot. Detroit, Third and ten for Detroit. VY. First drive. Go here, go game go number three. Go Win go and go in, go lose. Over, and, over, over, well, you don't have to go home. You just hang out in the players' lounge the rest of the time. Dropping back. Rolling out. Great defense. Fourth and ten. Maybe field goal time for VY Electrify. Needs to make sure he kicks us with enough power. Remember, we saw him kick it a little short versus Pavin. Boy, how big was that miss in game number two? There you go. That's a perfect kick. Not only did he kick it with enough power, he had a perfect kick right there. Bam, bam, thank you, Dan. Dan Bailey puts it through the uprights. 3 nothing. V.Y. an early lead. Bam, bam, thank you, Dan. <laughs> a pretty witty guy, Nick. I got a million of them. <laughs> I think my wife's at home right now, like, thank God he's not here. <laughs> Walks around the house rambling like a lunatic. Now six cents, his first chance on offense. He's got to feel good holding VY to a field goal, especially how that drive started with Chris Johnson really working early. Oh, absolutely. And I'll tell you, when you talk to six cents, that's what he said. He's like, I know my defense stinks. Not like the personnel. He's like, I know it stinks. I didn't, I didn't spend a lot on it. So I have to play bend but don't break style defense. But anytime I can hold these guys to three, it's a win for me with how bad that defense thinks. So six cents, he'll take that. And now for VY, he's going to have a lot to deal with because six cents is stacked on offense. He has all kinds of playmakers, route cams, uh, personnel. I mean, th this is a real deal offense six cents is bringing to the table here. Six cents in the words of the late great Dennis Green. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> and now, that deuce close. Shannon Sharp at halfback. Halfback whim to kick it off. He goes, VY, you got a pretty good running offense, but I got the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp at halfback. It's funny, huh? <laughs> And Sharp is a beast, though. He, I mean, he can spin, he can truck. He's got decent speed. Lamar. That's way too far back. Rolling. Is that only a two-route play? I only saw two receivers down the field. It is. It's one of those ad-lib plays. I keep saying it, but it really is the style a lot of these guys are playing, and I don't think it's a great style of Madden. It's like I'm going to hike the ball, try to pick up the blockers, run around as much as I can, and hope someone gets open and get open mode, or I can playmaker someone. I mean, that works every now and then, but it's no way to try to make a living. Back at the gun bunch, third and four for six cents. Stepping up, nobody there, and VY's defense makes the stop, and who else but Buchanan in on the sack? 
This isn't good for six cents. I mean, the offense is supposed to be your strong suit of your game. And now you find yourself in a fourth and seven early on your first possession. We're probably going to go to the second quarter. Detroit, I doubt he gets Detroit, this, this off. Detroit, See if he Detroit. takes the snap down three nothing. He does not. Half time, or not half time. We've only played one quarter. It's been a long first quarter, but it's three nothing. VY Electrify on top six sets, a key fourth down play. Mm. The 2019 Madden Bowl is brought to you by New Era, the official cap of NFL sidelines. As we head to the second quarter, it's only a three point game, RG, but already one of those momentum plays. Fourth and seven for six cents, and he didn't hesitate. He's going for it. All right, now, yeah, that's a big play I early on for six cents. Detroit! He, knows, he knows his Detroit! tournament life's on the Detroit! line with this play. I wanna, maybe not that far, Nick, but this, it, this will hurt his chance. This could hurt his chances for sure if he doesn't convert here. Plenty of time left in the game. But yeah, this is huge. Jackson steps up. He's got him. What a spy. Nope, He's there's got too nobody much pressure. downfield. He tries to throw it, but VY's defense makes the stop and now gets great field position. And who is it again making the play, Nick? I think it was a man by the name of Dion Buchanan. Dion Buchanan, the outside linebacker with 92 speed on that quarterback spy. And that's just a great tactic against all these guys who want to run around with these 98-speed quarterbacks, playmaker, and try to let the play break down. I love that lab work right there by VY. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite strategists on all of the circuit with his unique offense and unique philosophies on defense. It's this type of stuff I love to see. Six cents needing that defense. Not a whole lot of cap spent there, needing them to come up with another stop. Second down and 10 for VY. Seeing, seeing the defensive perspective right now, this is six senses play art that you're seeing on screen. Driving back, quick three step drop for Lamar. That's good defense. Just over left side as a man, but good coverage downfield and nothing doing there. It's third and 10 now for VY. That was good user skill right there by Six Sense. He took away the drag route early on, then passed that off to the flat route, went over to guard the deep crossing route. Um, th that's phenomenal user. That's him taking away multiple routes with just the one player that he's controlling. Third down and 10. And that's why these pros don't play with their D linemen. All the beginner Madden players, Nick, they, they start off playing on their D line. That's not what you want to be doing because you can't make defensive plays like the way Six Sense did. Taking away multiple routes when you do that. Oh, oh no. now the D line making a play for six cents. Melvin Ingram getting in on Lamar Jackson. Quarterback meat tastes sweet. Now 51 yard field goal attempt for VY. Six cents defense playing phenomenally early. The kick is up. It is good. Six nothing. Six cents getting the ball back. It's got to be painful for VY. You missed a big field goal in your last game versus Pop, and then you come out now here and per them. yeah, you kick two perfect kicks, no big deal. <laughs> oh, what a spin. Tyreek Hill up to the 28 yard line, and now six cents. That first drive really was a disaster from front to back. He needs to put together some sort of rhythm here. Oh, absolutely. Even just getting himself three. How about him on special team? That was a nice little kick return. We saw that highlight in his last game where he got super steep. You gotta be little careful. Hesitation. I'd be careful kicking the ball off to my guy Kevin Jones, aka Six Cents. One of our last chance qualifiers back in a high pressure situation. Lamar. Looking downfield, looking for that corner out. Boy, Randy Moss is so fast. Just got over the top of the user and a huge first down for six cents. Yeah, just got a step right there. Right, That's serious Mo on Lucky the sideline. Go on, go on. Look, yeah, the, 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 the serious Mo coach. He's on the <laughs> sidelines. He's gonna be here at the desk in a second. A man of many talents. Lamar. 
Oh, great pocket presence. Gets out of there. Chuck this out of bounds. What a job avoiding the sack. Six cents, pretty much on the cusp of field goal range. This is like the max distance you want to be, so um, he's definitely got to pick up some additional yards right here. Obviously, he's looking for the first down, turn this into a scoring drive. But you definitely don't want to stall out right here, Nick. This, this is a tough place to kick a field goal from. Second down to 10. Flipping the play. Play action pass. Waiting. Nobody open. The defense. So good downfield. He's going to try to take off. He, he tries to throw it really late. He's lucky that's called an incompletion. I think that Buchanan is messing with a lot of these guys that have the scrambling quarterback because you're just used to not getting hit like that. And, you know, even when he's getting the passes off, he's still getting hit when he's getting those passes off. I mean, Lamar just doesn't look good back there right now. He doesn't look comfortable. Yeah, it's less about getting to the quarterback, more about making sure the quarterback doesn't get around. Yeah, look at it. Is. And there oh. it is. Wow. wow. It's like what a find for VY with Deion Buchanan. What a great substitution. It's like he's staring into the quarterback's soul while he's into the pocket. Just like, go ahead. Make him move up. Make him move outside the hey, pocket. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. Hey, see what happens. There's a little bit of room. Come on. Come on. Take a little run. I swear, it won't be that bad. Fourth and 12. They got to go for it. This is no man's land. Be a 56-yard field goal from here. We told, we told you it was, he was, like, really on the... Oh, that's a big... Wow, back him up. Oh, five he more. backed himself up wow. even more. And now on fourth and 17, what do you do? It looks like he's going to go for it. Doesn't change it. But, man, offensive penalties, the story here at Group A. It's going to be interesting. You know VY doesn't send a lot of pressure, so if you're six cents, you should expect to buy yourself time. You just need to stay in that pocket because as soon as you roll out, he's going to spy crash that Buchanan, and he's going to be on your butt. Oh, no, there's no spot. Looking downfield, a little in route right at the line, and Odell Beckham with the catch and a first down and some confidence for six cents. I love my guy, six cents. Every time you think he's down and out, you think you got him, he just kicks the door down and says, I'm back. And the drive stays alive here in this do or die game. Joe Mixon, right side. The blocking's out there and he'll pick up seven. Nice mixing in a little bit of a run play just to keep VY guessing. Picked up seven yards too. Maybe we should keep him guessing a little more often, huh, Nick? Especially when you got Dion Buchanan on the D line. He's going to be phenomenal in pass coverage and spying the quarterback. But if you go ahead and just run right at this guy, yeah. he's going to have some trouble. Gone, 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 gone. We're at the two minute warning. It's 6 0. It's a game that has been dominated by VY, but for six cents, it's been the defense Lepard, stopping Lepard. VY from getting any touchdowns on the board that's kept him in this game. He's got sharp in the backfield. I like this. This is, this is where. I, oh, he's passing. Oh, and he has a man. That's Randy Moss showing up with the one-handed catch. We got a tie ball game in this do-or-die matchup. How about six cents, Nick? I mean, this game has looked like it's been all VY electrified. And just like that, he goes down the field. He converts on a fourth and a million and then turns it into a scoring drive. And now he's in the lead, up one point. This is a young man that just does, refuses to go away no matter what game he's in. That's, yeah, that's wild. a little seam route. Again, the way that he threw that, that was a high ball. So if you want to throw that high pass to get over those linebackers, you simply hold the LB button when you pick what uh, button you want to throw to, give you a little extra arc on that pass. L LB does the high pass, left trigger does the low pass. To really direct how you want that ball to come out of your quarterback's hands. Now VY. Pressure back on him. Lamar. Waiting. Looking. He's got B over the middle. That's Randy Moss. Down to the 46 yard line. The protection up front holding up well for VY. I'm just so impressed at how well he passes the ball out of this single back formation, Nick. I mean. It's a run first type formation, but he is getting his guys go on, go on, open. And he's just not getting open for short games. These are big chunks of yardage go on, go on, that he's picking up. And a big part of it is him having some of those route chemistries. 
That allows him to make some of those unique plays. First and ten for B.Y. Driving back, pressure gets there, down, goes Jackson as Melvin Ingram creating some havoc in the backfield. And just to clarify, B.Y., he only does have one route chemistry. It's Randy Moss who has an elite route chem, and what that does is it gives him a unique route tree that is different than all the other players. You end up getting yourself a cross route, a post route, a corner route. Long. Oh, that's Pressure heat. off the edge. He brought the heat. And Lamar Jackson needed to get out of the kitchen. Third and long. When you watch B.Y. play, I, I, I think that's when he's having the most trouble in this under center stuff. He kind of wants to sit back and make reads. He doesn't want to make quick throws. And when you send the dogs like Six Sense has, he, he's, had, he's been a deer in headlights a couple times. Third and 20 now. Flag down. Try to do a third and 15, got six cents to jump off sides. A reminder, this game, do or die. Win and you're in, lose and you're out. Make sure you hit that squads button here on Twitch. You can watch Canes and Pavin. Winner of that game gets a bye. Loser has to play in the wild card matchup later today. Third and 15 for VY. Under a minute to go in the first half. Quick throw to the right side. What a read from B.Y. Just as you said, he doesn't like getting the ball out of his hands quickly. He finds a route that works perfectly and picks up a first down. I mean, he's a lab route. He's, he's going to be have a little of everything in there, huh? Good to see that he has that in the arsenal, though, Nick. He's going to be able to keep six cents a little honest now. B.Y. is like a, like a trail mix. You're going to find some granola, some M&Ms, some raisins, a little bit of everything. Jackson. Might have had him over the top. Now he's got nobody. Chucks it out of bounds. 28 seconds left in the first half. You do love me some trail mix too, man. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love a good trail mix? Good trail mix. Uh, don't give me a trail mix without some M&Ms in there. I need a little bit of chocolate. Bingo. Otherwise, it's just twigs and bark. I need some chocolate to break it up. 7-6. Six. Six, six cents. The lone touchdown in this game. Driving back, quick throw once again, and that is working. Oh, almost spun around the defender. Timeout, take it. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe something that uh, the defense is going to have to adjust to that quick little wheel throw to the tight end. It's a nice little play, huh? You, you want to send the goons on me? How about a little snap throw? How about Tevin Look. Coleman at tight end? That's some speed out there. The tight end position. 97 speed. 23 seconds. Oh, we haven't heard from Chris Johnson in a while, and Six Sense goes, there's a reason why. Well, and he's been in this two-minute drill. I mean, an interesting call right there by V.Y. That's the last time he's likely going to be able to run the ball here. I mean, if you're V.Y., you obviously want the touchdown, but the most important thing is not turning the ball over and getting points. So you go into the half with the lead. Second and nine for V.Y. Jackson, quick three-step drop. Oh boy, he had X, all sorts of open. Back of the end zone, can't find Odell. Huge third down play upcoming. And for any of those in the chat asking, just, just a reminder, if you're interested in this offense B.Y. is running, because it's you know a little something new. He, he's in that Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. Gun, 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 gun. Third and nine. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Moss coming in motion. 13 seconds left in the half. Jackson. This is the play he's found Odell on several times. He's got him again. Missed it. Missed everything. That one, that was that was a little ugly. Yeah, the running back start to come back towards Jackson right as he let that go. And VY. Three scoring drives, but all three field goals. Another perfect kick. MVP for P.Y. has been Dan Bailey in this game. Three field goals has had him with a two-point lead. Yeah, Dan Bailey, I mean, he let him down in the last game, but in this one, he, he's he been phenomenal. And that's not easy to do. I mean, when someone kicks three perfect kicks in a row, you got to think they've practiced that and put some time into it. So Ooh. that's impressive from B.Y. It's a big boy picking up that squib kick. 
Three seconds left. Do you take a shot here, down two, or do you just take a knee and get into halftime? Uh, I'm likely just taking a knee and get into halftime. I've seen I've seen picks I've seen pick sixes happen in this situation uh, a lot more than I've seen um, you know touchdowns. So yeah, if I'm six cents, I'm just getting out of here personally. Nine seven vy on top. All right now, lucky fifty six. Six cents serving the defense. All right now, lucky fifty six. Looks like he's gonna lucky take 56. a shot. Detroit, Detroit. Ah. Jackson. And all the blue jerseys down the field. And they eventually get there. He was looking to chuck that up, but we'll go to halftime. We got ourselves a ball game in this do or die matchup. 9 7. VY on top. Let's take a look at these highlights. And for VY, it's been a it's been the kicking game. Looking like a, an actual soccer game out there. <laughs> and again, all of these kicks, perfect kicks. To me, that's the impressive part, so. The key note here, Nick, is this game is completely up for grabs. I mean, it's clearly nobody uh, has the blatant advantage right now. And, uh, we got one time. other game going on right now. It is a matchup for the bye. Oh, yes. Let's throw it over the to The Players Rico Lounge. You see it. And it all starts with Canes getting in the end zone early. There was a lot of scoring in this game. As you see, Pavin would not be outdone. Michael Vick got in the end zone. But Keynes wanted to make sure he got that by, found his receiver wide open, and he took it to the house. As you can see, he's getting comfortable in that chair, starting to get back. Matt Bull, he can sense that by is on its way. Back to you guys. Back here in pod A. We are two quarters away from finding out who is staying alive in the Madden Bowl, who's going home. VY Electrify, six cents, second half action. And RG, as you mentioned, it is anyone's ball game. Importantly right here, six cents is gonna get the ball to start the second half. He's only down two points. We've already told you a million times, offense is where he makes his living. We've seen him do good on special teams too. Oh, he's got some room on the left side. That's Tyree Kill. Oh, look at that little hesitation step. Boy, that's something you want to talk about, something above a veteran move. That's a professional move, that little hesitation step. Yeah, that's a Decroft desk right there. Decroft, you know, known for having some of the best stick work with the ball carriers on the circuit. And these guys looking more and more like them every day in that open field. But for six cents, that's a big return right there. I mean, special teams and Tyree Kill has been phenomenal. He, he keeps getting good right, field position. And when you're down only six. two points and a field goal gives you the lead, I mean, that's a big deal to get a return like that. T takes a little bit of the pressure off, Nick. Starting off with a little Shannon Sharp action, shaking off a tackler. He's a Hall of Famer for a reason, picking up a first down. It's interesting, he's constantly doing this package, you know, to get Shannon Sharp in there instead of Joe Mixon. And a big part of that is this is a 96 overall, you know, Shannon Sharp that can spin, he can truck. He's got decent carry ratings where the Mixon is more of a tank player that, you know, just has a little bit of speed and can spin. All right now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Already over midfield, go, go, first drive of the go, second go. half, down two. Over, Lamar. Over. Play action, rolls out of the pocket. Nobody open downfield. DY secondary, he's been incredibly solid. Six cents, only three of eight passing the ball. Yeah, but for how, you know, tanked VY is on defense, he's done a phenomenal job. And I, again, I hate to, you know, keep saying it, but I think a big part of that is that Dion Buchanan scheme where a guy like Six Cents is used to being able to run around and make all these crazy plays, but then all of a sudden, you take that away from them, and uh, you know things get a lot more difficult. All, all of a sudden, the offense doesn't feel as smooth. Take it out of ten, Lamar. There he is, right there. That Buchanan. Little comeback route. Oh, oh, yeah. the back-to-back -back spins. Oh, Del Beckham getting the spin cycle going, and Six Sense is back on top. That was absolutely nasty. I think Sixth Sense has just like officially solidified himself as sticky. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, 100%. Yeah, he knows Stiksu. There's Jiu-Jitsu and then there's Stiksu. Six Cents knows Stiksu. I mean, he is ready to get sticky, icky, icky in that open field and make guys miss. And when you can do it this consistently, that's when I say you know Stiksu. I mean, look at this. A comeback route. One, two, get out of my way. Oh, man. That's like catching somebody in the triangle. That's the equivalent. That's nasty. Look at him, man, bobbing his head, too, as you should. That was a nasty play. I know the Twitch chat's got to be loving that one. CY back on offense. He's going to look to air it out to start the second half. He's got a man downfield. He's wide open, but he's going to take off with Lamar Jackson. He had a touchdown over the top. It's been that deep post route from the left side. We saw it in game two. It's, it's been the route that's been getting open. Remember, both of these guys using that Lamar Jackson. And, man, he's definitely putting in some work. First and 10. Left side. Nice throw underneath. I'm curious, who are the guys in the chat using? I mean, obviously, we got our guys all using Mike Vick and Lamar Jackson. What are you guys doing in the chat? Are you a Lamar guy? Are you a Vick guy? Or, you know, what other quarterback? I know there's a lot of Mariotas out there. Who are you guys using? Why all of a sudden he's in enemy territory? What about Chris Johnson? Whoa! How about a spin move? How about another one showing six cents? I know where that B button is. A little response right there from VY shows some stick to of his own. You do got to be careful with that spin though, Nick. I mean, there there was an update in the game at one point earlier in the year. If you got hit while spinning or hit in the back, your guy would have fumbled. Now and that, and if you get hit sticked. Uh, during that spin, not only do you have an increased chance of fumbling, right, now, if you get hit in the look back, you now do have that chance of Detroit, fumbling as well. Detroit. So definitely some risk Detroit. associated with Detroit. those spin moves that they're trying. See if it comes back to bite them later on. It reminds me of the days playing NFL Street on the GameCube. They always put a warning up. If you spin, you got a higher chance of fumbling. Yeah. <laughs> and now they got it in Madden. Oh, NFL Street, man. That's a legendary game right there, huh? Detroit, Detroit. Me and Chow still play that every now and then. So we'll good. lock in. It's I'm, still good. It holds up. Kind of tough. Second and nine. Quick drop. Lamar. Got him open left side. Oh, Shannon broke one. Right there. That's that animal that's I'm boss. talking about. See how he spun right into him with his back and got hit? Had the defender been doing a hit stick at that time, there would have been a good fumble chance on that hit right there. And how about you seeing that crossing route come across the other way, and nobody can stay with Randy Moss. Yeah, he's 99 speed, and you saw the way these guys were spending cap on their defense. They're, they're not getting superstars on defense. These guys are spending their superstars. It's like a bunch of Kansas City Chiefs offenses out here. You know what I mean? No, Nobody's the Rams where it's balanced. Or, yeah, who needs defense? I don't want to say no, but some of these guys oh, do have balanced ball. lineups. Like a guy like some serious, for example, he, he has a decent amount of balance. He doesn't get a lot of those chemistries, and he's got some. He's got like the full Jalen Ramsey, Deion Sanders. He's got real goons on the defensive side of the ball. So some people do have those balance teams, but a lot of the players did go heavy, heavy on the offense. Detroit, Detroit. Now, second and seven. P.Y. looking to Detroit, answer the Detroit. touchdown by six over, cents here in the third over, quarter. Over. Moss in motion. Chris Johnson cuts it inside, winding, weaving, down to the two-yard line. Probably two-down territory for V.Y. too. I mean, six cents, this is where he said he wants to make his money. It's a bend but don't break style defense. It's done a good job so far holding VY to only nine points. If you're VY, you gotta stop stalling oh, no, out and you gotta six. punch Lucky it in for six, six right here. That was a big boy oh, no, football here six. in game three of Group A. Do or die. Gap, like How about Chris Johnson? Yeah. How about the defense from six cents, fourth and goal? That's huge right there. He shot that gap perfectly. Makes up for his weak personnel with good user skills. And now he's got VY in a situation. Go on, go Fourth and three. Go on, go VY's going for this, Nick. This is big. Detroit! Detroit! 
Detroit! Detroit! Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Momentum play. Ah! He's gonna throw for it. Lamar. Oh, he right made side. the scramble! He didn't get it, and it's going the other way. What a stop. Oh, you got Lamb Jack. The middle of the field looks wide open. If we get a replay of that, if you're BY, you just gotta run up the middle. Do your best fan to be compression. Jump, dive, get in the end zone. It was there for you. Oh, that was huge. Look at this. This, of course, our Snickers replay. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. He had the easy scramble up the middle. RG goes for the throw, and it bites him. Oh, that's one of those plays when you go back and watch the tape. You're going to know that you missed that one if you're VY Electrify, and he better clean up that body language right there, Nick. Your whole Madden tournament season is on the line. Five minutes of gameplay left. Four's in the chat. It's fourth quarter time in this do or die matchup in group A. VY Electrify, down five to six cents. Win and you're in, lose and you go home. The pressure is mounting. The clock is rolling. And now six cents with the ball inside the four yard line. How about this stat from Donnie Moore? Shannon Sharp in the NFL, career rushing, three carries, nine yards. He's doing a little better today. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens in Ultimate Team. I mean, you get a lot of these crazy different items with crazy ratings, and these guys get creative in the way they want to use them. And that's the beautiful thing. You're the coach, you're the GM, and you can think outside the box and, you know, play the way you want to play. How about this? Third and six. And you got to remember, that Shannon Sharp, his ratings are good. They're not using some bum Sharp. Oh, very good ratings. Shaka flipping the play. Hill alone on the right side. How about that trio? Beckham, Moss, and Sharp on the left side. The two 84s next to each other. Look at this weirdo, yeah. Boy. Tiger out 427 to go. V.Y. gets a stop Detroit. here. I'm not saying momentum completely shifts, but it, it starts to lean the other way. It's an interesting timeout right there from Six Sense. Those second half timeouts, so critical. Look at this weirdo, just like he flips the play and he starts. Middle of the field for Sharp. Oh, the big tight end, the Hall of Famer makes a play for six cents. First down once again. Do it on the ground, do it through the air. Gun, 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 gun. Back in that deuce close. There's no, there's no Skip Bayless on that field to stop him. Nothing. Now using that play clock, running it down over, under the four minute mark. And a sharp stop behind the line. I just don't understand this on the pro level. Like, I know he milked that clock down and he hiked it with three seconds left. Is the thing that in my day, if I'm milking the clock, I'm milking the clock. I'm hiking it with one second left. There's no, I'm leaving you an extra two seconds. But I'm going full sting mode. And uh, these younger players, they, they get stingy, but they don't go full sting mode. Shorten the game. Give them less Look at this. This needs to be at one before I even think. There it is. At th three seconds again. Stepping up. Nobody open yet. Gets out of the pocket. Looks across the field. Has a man. It's Tyreek Hill. Wide open inside the 20. Inside the 16-yard line. What a play from six cents as he looks all the way across the field for Tyreek Hill. Oh, my goodness. Came up big in the LCQ. He's coming up big here. Oh, man. Yeah, you remember Tyreek Hill was the one that got him there. Go ahead, like touchdown like against Safa Jones on a fourth down when he absolutely needed it. And now six cents with a touchdown here could really put VYs back up against the ropes. If you're VY, you gotta play the defense of your life right now. Shannon Sharp. Nothing doing there. Let's take a look at this one more time. Six cents gets out of the pocket. You can't even see him on the screen, but he throws it up to Tyreek Hill. And you know what? 
Buchanan nowhere to be found on that one, and that's what's going to happen when you let these Lamar Jacksons get outside the pocket and don't get that pressure on them. Those are the type of plays that break down and happen. Boy, comes out of the huddle under 10 seconds on the play clock. Nearing the two-minute warning. He's throwing for it. Back of the end zone. Oh, and it's pride free, and that that's huge for VY getting the clock to stop before the two-minute warning. Look how nervous these guys look. It's getting tense up there, Nick. Do or die. What a way to kick off the Madden Bowl. Detroit, Nick Mazesco, RG. High pressure. Looking to throw again. Looks high pass. Moss, he's passed the first down marker. A huge conversion. That is huge. And look at BY's body language. It says it all. Because now Six Sets can continue to milk this clock, get into those timeouts, and he's four yards away from scoring a touchdown and pretty much telling BY. Say bye-bye to your competitive Madden season. What a, a clutch drive here, Six Cents. He's used the clock. He's gotten it down to the four-yard line, and now he's going to give it to the Hall of Famer, Shannon Sharp, to the three. Those timeouts are going to start being used. First one taken by VY. You no, know, we have our saying, uh, got to hold the door. Fair to say this is a hold the door situation for BY Electrify. Look at BY. Look at how many Detroit, guys right there in Detroit. the middle. And we've seen uh, it's a pullback guy for Sharp who fights through the tackle. He almost punched it in the end zone. Third and goal from the one yard line. No timeout taken by BY. This is it. If you're BY, one yard could separate you from your Madden season. You got the defense or not? He's blown it up before. Will six cents dare throw the ball here. Look at this user player. That's who he's trying to make plays with right there. The sneak. He's Whoa. in. Oh, six cents from counting out to possibly moving on. As he extends it to a 21-9 lead. RG, how impressed are you by the drive there by six cents? Oh my gosh, can people continue to count this guy out? No one gives him a chance. He finds himself in situations where he's down and he's gotta make these crazy comebacks. And now time and time again, he's starting to deliver. This has been a guy that's just had trouble getting over the hump all these years. And he's done it once, and now he's just on a streak of doing it again and again. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot, I'm almost Patriot. positive he's going to move on. It's going to take a go, miracle go, for BY go, Electrify, go. Nick. He's going to need to score quickly. He does have two timeouts, but there's only a buck 26 go, left go. in this do or die matchup in group A. What a way to kick off a Madden Bowl here from Redwood go, City. Go, Look at the go, scream go. spam that he's doing right there. That's just full tilt mode. Oh, a little, little, little taste of your own medicine. Throw it to the guy you can't even see on screen. I, I call that like a three-eyed raven read. You know, it's nobody you sees it, on your mind? but you oh, know no, it's going to develop. First and ten for BY. Buck eight gun, and counting. Gun, gun, gun. Over, 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 over. Down twelve. All right, now lock at fifty-six. And look lock at that clock. Fit. It's just still ticking, Nick. Jackson out of the pocket. Got him. Got X downfield. He's he got him. Odell. Didn't get wow, out of bounds. he didn't get out of bounds. It's moving. I thought for sure he was out of bounds, but that knee came down just inside the line, and now crank up the pressure for VY. The first catch for Odell today. Oh, and how the about too. six cents? The field goal's no good. He's still down nine points, even with six. the field goal. So he can't even quickly kick a field goal and then try an onside Detroit, kick. He needs Detroit. to score the touchdown. He needs six. He needs an onside kick. He needs He's got him. a little That's bit of everything. Guy. That's Tevin Coleman. Oh, what a tackle at the two. He does go out of bounds to stop the clock. Thirty-four seconds left, and how many people do you think had six cents? Up 12 in a do or die game to move on to the single elimination. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Over, 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 over. 
Got so much more action coming up. Don't go anywhere, guys. Group B coming up. Serious Mo and James Coe on the call. Hand off, Chris Johnson. He's short of the goal line. VY uses his second time out. And if you if you're six cents, you want to keep getting stingy here. You, you don't just let them in the end zone. Make them use that timeout. Make them continue to lose those seconds because you just never know. Yeah, you can get that onside kick, and then stuff could get real for you. We, we've seen weird things happen, Madden. The body language from BY. Johnson into the end zone. Part one, check mark. But now it's on to the hard part. It's a miracle because he's going to need the onside kick and not just be able to follow that up with a field goal. He's going to need to follow the onside kick up with a touchdown. But first things first, can he recover this onside? Six cents, just looking at the hands team going, just fall on the ball. Madden season on the line right here, Nick, for Stephen Appleblatt. Is there a miracle? Nope. Six cents picks it up. He's touched down. And wow, what a performance. Handshakes at the pod. Six cents will move on. And if you want to talk about a guy who knows how to ha handle high pressure situations, you might start calling him Six Sensei, considering how well he has done in the LCQ and here in this do or die game. Wow. And VY. A heartbreaking group. He didn't play poorly, but in this game it came down to six cents. Was able to put touchdowns on the board when VY could only put field goals. And, and remember, when we saw the road to the Matterball, they talked to six cents. One thing he said is, you know what? I'm coming into this tournament with a lot of momentum. I'm playing pretty good right now, and I'm hoping that could carry over. And you know what? It didn't carry over right away, but when it counted, that momentum was there for him. He executed, he got it done, and he's going to move on to the Madden Paul. And you know, hats off to VY Electrify. I love his unique uh, style that he brings, the way he approaches the game. He's a phenomenal player. We'll see more of him. He has great credentials, but this was all about six cents, and he couldn't be more happy for that young man. As he is going to join us at the desk, we'll get to talk about, talk to the cardiac kid. Boy, talk about high pressure situations coming through the last chance qualifier and now in this do or die situation with a matchup against VY to move on. Congratulations. Uh, take us through it. How much did playing in that last chance qualifier help you for the high pressure game you had here? Yeah, it kind of helped build some momentum. Even though I didn't play good in the first two games, uh, Jaybird ended up flying out in a uh, the main game that we got ready for was VY, so I, I'd say that that worked out. Came pretty out well. pretty big in yeah. this one. <laughs> Ended up being a, a big game to get ready for, huh? Uh, real quick, six cents. I, I'm just curious. I, I know you.